Hey, what's up everybody? Thank you so much for checking out the video and welcome to Keeping It Real Fishing. Got an unboxing for you here today. Uh, it's winter here in New Jersey and uh, as we often do in the winter, uh, pick up some cool new additions. I have a very, very cool one here that I'd like to show you today. Uh, it's usually hard for me to do this. I almost always uh, can't wait and I open it up, but this one I just got in and I figured I would actually unbox it here on camera for you. So uh, let's open this one up. And uh, hey, in keeping with The Last Jedi, to all my Star Wars fans out there, I have a most appropriate tool for which to open this box. Let's get to it. All right. Oh, it's melting right through it. Ugh. Man, did a number on that thing. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, having seared through that box with our uh, lightsaber, <laughs> had to do that, guys. Look at the extent I went for you. I even burned this off for effect. Uh, anyway, guys, let's take a look. So we're looking at the um, Sly Guy Lures. Uh, that's Clayton Sly. This is a new bait, and this is a 9-inch trout glide bait. So let's take a look. Put our lightsaber box over there. Okay, so for those of you guys who have not heard of Sly Guy Lords, don't feel bad. Um, he's been around for a while. As I look at his Instagram page, he's, like so many people, been making lures for himself for a while. And he's just kind of perfected his craft, and he's gotten it to a point where he is... I think amongst uh, most people who are on the forums and various pages, um, his name's going around. He's making exceptional stuff and he's getting a lot of traction. Um, so if you haven't heard of him, you probably will soon. His style of bait making is uh, really my favorite for the people that, you know, for custom handmade lures. And that's very natural looking things. Um, he really tries to mimic nature. He even has a, a, a gill, a blue gill, which he calls the replica gill. And when I say this thing is spot on, I mean dead nuts accurate. So I like that. I always like my lures to as close as possible to mimic nature. Uh, I would use my lightsaber here again, but I don't want to get that plastic melted all over it. So we'll do it the old-fashioned way, using a spider kill. <laughs> Let's get this thing open, man. Quick unboxing guys here in the winter. Hopefully I can do a bunch more. I got a lot of gear that I've been sitting on, some I've been testing. And uh, my waters are about to freeze over, so I don't know how much in-water footage I can get. You'll have to excuse me. So we may, you guys let me know if it's something you're interested in, just tabletop reviews. I, I kind of, I started out doing them back in the day and I kind of hate them now. If I can't show in-water footage and how a lure swims, I kind of don't like to put the review up at all. But I have a lot of stuff here that I can throw on the tabletop and I can give you some opinions and talk to you about it uh, just without the in-water swimming action. So you let me know. Let me know if that's something that you guys are down to see. And over the course of the winter here, next few months, I can definitely put out more videos if you're cool with that. And if I can ever get this thing out of here, <laughs> we'll take a look at it. Clayton, if you're watching this, I suspect you will. Brother, there's got to be a better way. <laughs> this is maddening. Because, you, Clayton, you know when people get these lures, they just want to tear into it. And, like, they kind of literally have to. But it's... This is maddening. Arr. Next step in the manufacturing, sir, has got to be to get some plastic cases or something. All right, we're getting there. Let's see, looks good. Again, guys, this bait is nine inches. I believe the weight is four ounces. It's a, uh, it's either a slow sink or an extra slow sink. I have to forget, I have to, I have to forget. I forget, I gotta look at uh, the specifics. But all we wanna do right now is just free it from its Saran Wrap Prison. There we go. What do you think? I'm thinking purdy. Very, very purdy. Let's give you the once over here, guys. Just a quick tabletop. 
just this is just show and tell tonight guys nothing but show and tell just gonna give you all angles I got a couple of the lures here I'm gonna throw it real quick just for size comparison uh, let's see the tail here is a pliable soft plastic tail method of attachment looks like we got one pin right through there um, let's see coloring is, is nice and natural Kind of has a silver whitish side here. You know, it's interesting because if we let's get it up close, let's focus in here. You can see up close how like the um, the finishing of the lure is is kind of rough. Like it's kind of like scales, but almost like broken scales. Um, not that you're, you know, not that this is a floater or something you're gonna, you know, just dead stick because it's a sinking lure. But I I kind of like that. It a little bit rough around the edges to me makes it more believable rather than something that's all perfect and polished and without any deviation because real fish if you ever catch a rainbow trout you know you always have some scales missing or you know it's shiny in one area not so much in another so there we go I'll lay it in my hand nine inches sharp looking bait man sharp looking bait these hooks are pretty darn serious I'm, excuse me, I don't know the size. Um, actually, wait, I just remember the size. Uh, big. <laughs> no, sorry, I, I really don't. I don't even know if it was listed. Uh, quite large. Short shanks. I don't even know what these are. These are some KVD triple grips or whatever. Let's look at the detail on the head here. Let's look inside of that joint. Representing uh, various spins here. You could take a look. Uh, let's look at. Oh, it's you know it's got a fat profile too, which is kind of interesting. A lot of baits tend to err on the um, side of slender. I think just to give it a more wide glide, so there's less kind of hydrodynamic drag. So a lot of manufacturers make this relatively slender. Clayton's electing to go with uh, a fat profile, and that could pay dividends just in terms of looking like a chunky meal, as the fish are below. You know, typically we're going to get our strikes from a fish gazing from this angle, or maybe like an angle like that. Uh, let's get this box the hell out of here. <laughs> Stupid uh, lightsaber box. Um, definitely a fat profile. Uh, realistic though to the fish. As Clayton, um, he told me a story, and I think he's posted online too. Uh, he was fishing on the bank, and he saw, I believe it was a bass, chase a trout right to the, just just happenstance chase a trout out of the water like the, the trout went into super skinny water like right near his feet and it jumped to evade being eaten by this bass and it actually landed near him on the ground on the soil and it was flopping around there and it was almost like you know it was like it was meant to be um and that was it to avoid being eaten the fish kind of committed suicide and he used that fish as the mold and the model for this one thing i can say guys is um again for those of you guys who are not familiar with clayton these are casts from real fish. I'll just throw in a couple others. Uh, this joins my uh, Sly Guy Lures perch. Same thing, cast from an actual fish. You can see the detail in all these things. And uh, the first one I picked up, I think I've had this about a year and a half or two years now, is one of his gills. So you, see, you can see it's a four piece. So you see the common thread here, guys. Uh, a lot of detail, very natural. Uh, reminds me of probably my favorite hard bait manufacturer, which is uh, Matt Lures. I absolutely love Matt stuff, and Clayton's following a very similar philosophy, so that's that's really cool. Uh, I said I would do a comparison. Let me just do that real quick. For those of you guys who like the really, really big stuff, here it is next to a Depths 250. Let's see here. Yep, those are lined up. Okay, so 9-inch bait, the Depths... They, they call it a 10 inch bait. They don't, actually don't look that much different here. It only looks about a half inch different. So for those of you guys throwing big 250s, this is how a Clayton Sly stacks up. A little bit of a smaller profile. Tapers down there towards the uh, base as we approach the tail. Definitely a smaller profile. Which I'm kind of really liking because the Depths 250 is a hard sell for me here in New Jersey. I get a strike here and there throughout the year, but it's a tough one for me, man. Um, but I, I like erring on the side of something big. And I, these here, 
I like. So oh, again, here's another comparison. This is a S Waiver 200. Just a couple baits that I figured a lot of you guys out there might have or have on your radar. Just show you how it stacks up. And you know, this is what this is a telltale thing right here. You know, a production bait, something that's made on assembly line, plastic. You know. Uh, formed plastic and everything and you could just see I mean hey don't get me wrong s waiver is an awesome bait it works fantastic but there's just something special about the, the handmade baits and I mean look at what you can achieve like something that truly truly looks like a trout I mean even if you even if you did dead stick it versus the s waiver which you know it has more of a kind of mechanical fake robotic fish type look versus you know something that's been cast from the real thing and painted as much as uh, the artist can to then uh, be colored and look like the real thing, to bring it to life. See a little bit of that color change in there, huh? As I tilt it up here, there's a, uh, a pink, the pink banding along the midsection, and almost like a little bit of bluish. It's pretty interesting. Ah, uh, yeah, look at that. As we hit the angles, that color really pops. Pretty cool stuff. The green on the back kind of gets a little darker and lighter depending on how the light's hitting it. Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. So, uh, anyway guys, that's it. I'll get these out of the way. Just a quick look at a lure that I'm really excited about. Again, Sly Guy Lures, the uh, owner, operator, Clayton Sly, really making a name for himself with these ultra-realistic swim baits. Uh, fantastic stuff. Uh, all the other lures, the other ones I showed you, the gill and the perch that I've used thus far, have swam great. They've been very durable. I've been very pleased with them. So if you're in the market for a just a really incredible looking new glide, you want to throw something a little bit different than everybody else, and if you want to get on Clayton's stuff before the bandwagon leaves, because I think he's going to really start blowing up soon once the, the name gets out, uh, check him out guys. Clayton Sly, Sly Guy Lures, this is the 9-inch uh, the trout. Alright guys, and my parting words to you, again for all my Star Wars fans and the uh, release of The Last Jedi. I deem the uh, Sly Guy Lures 9-inch trout a beautiful lure. So beautiful, in fact, that it is an elegant lure for a more civilized fishing age. Thanks for watching.